Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make these old fashioned cake donuts with a vanilla glaze. Absolutely delicious. The ingredients you're gonna need for the donut part is four cups of all purpose flour. If you'd like to use a pastry flour, you may. One and a half cups of sour cream. Make sure this is a whole sour cream and not a low fat sour cream. Four large egg yolks, or you may use five small egg yolks. One fourth cup of butter at room temperature. Three teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. And one cup of sugar. For the glaze, you're gonna need one cup of powdered sugar. Some of you in the world will know it is icing sugar or confectionery sugar. Three tablespoons of milk and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. To fry our donuts in, you're gonna need about four cups of oil. I use a canola oil. Let me show you how we're gonna get this started. In my KitchenAid, I'm adding the sugar, the four egg yolks. I'm using the spatula to be sure I get it all out because one of my egg yolks broke. And the butter. We're gonna bring this up on medium speed. We're gonna incorporate this until it becomes this pale color. You see that color it turns? That's what you're looking for. And you definitely wanna make sure that you scrape down the sides of your bowl there. To this, we're gonna add that sour cream and I'm gonna stop this for just a second. Get it out of the way. I'm using my paddle attachment here. If you wanna use a hand mixer to mix up your donut batter, you be my guest. You're more than welcome to do that. Incorporate our sour cream till it's well blended. After a minute, this is what your butter and sugar and sour cream mixture is gonna be looking like. And again, you wanna make sure that you scrape down the sides of your bowls because you want all these ingredients well incorporated. To this, I'm adding the baking powder and the salt. Incorporate these. On low speed, we're gonna start adding that flour. Just about a spoonful at a time. If you add it all at once, you're going to be in for a flour shower. Be sure to keep your mixer on low. They're almost there. All right, this is what you're wanting it to look like and I've been scraping down the sides of my bowl. It's time to transport it to another bowl. I'm spraying a medium sized bowl that I'm gonna line with plastic wrap. Push it down in there, you spray your plastic. We're going to start adding that donut dough. Now that you got your dough in your bowl, you're gonna spray the top just lightly and we're going to cover this and we're gonna let the glutens do their magic because right now this dough is way too sticky to handle. And this is going to go in the refrigerator for the next hour or it can stay in the refrigerator up to four or five days before using it. So off to the refrigerator it goes. In a five quart Dutch oven or if you have a heavy bottom saucepan, I'm adding my canola oil. I'm coming up about three inches here on the side I've got my temperature to medium high and I'm going to bring up this oil temperature to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to use a temperature gauge. Very important to get the right heat on your oil before frying your donuts. I like to prepare my oil before I start cutting out my donuts. I've had my dough sitting in the refrigerator overnight. Lightly dust a flat surface with a little flour. Pull it out of your bowl, remove your plastic wrap, and this is a very, very soft dough. The idea here is to get it to 3 8 to a half an inch thick. Now this is going to give me 3 8 of an inch on the end of my rolling pin here. If you don't have these little rings put on your rolling pin, go ahead and mark the end of a wooden spoon, about a half an inch. That is the idea thickness for these old-fashioned cake donuts. We're just going to roll it out gently. This looks absolutely perfect. As you can see, these rings on my rolling pin here have a perfect thickness for our cake donuts. Also, if you want to measure, you can go over here, measure using a three inch diameter round cutter. I'm going to go ahead, flour the edges so we make sure it's not going to stick on us. We're going to go around 
and cut out the donuts. You see how sticky that dough is? You just want to make sure you get the ends of your cutter here. Oh my gosh, and they're coming out just beautifully. We're going to go back to the center and we're going to use one and one fourth inch ring. Make sure you flower it and we're going to cut out the center of your your donuts. Now don't throw these away because these are going to be your donut holes. I've been brushing the excess flour off the top of the donuts. I'm using a spatula to raise it up. I'm going to flip it over. Get the excess flour off your donuts. Very, very important. Time to add our donuts to our hot oil. Be very careful when adding to the hot oil. And we're going to let these rise to the top. They will here in just a few seconds. There comes one, and here comes the other. And we're going to let these fry for 40 seconds. So use your timer. After 40 seconds, we're going to flip them over and let them cook an additional 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, we're going to flip them over again and let them cook for an additional 40 seconds. I've got a cooling rack here on top of a cookie tray and I'm going to transport our donuts right here for its cool down process. And now I'm adding those little donut holes. We're gonna drop them in here and we're gonna fry them till they're just golden in color. Just a few at a time. And as you can see, they'll rise to the top as well. We're gonna cook these for a total of two minutes. We're gonna flip them over. Oh my gosh, don't those look delicious? They'll flip right over and stay there for you. Time for the vanilla glaze and don't those look scrumptious. Add that one cup of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of our milk, and a splash, about a half teaspoon of vanilla. With a whisk, we're going to incorporate this until it's nice and smooth. The glaze is nice and creamy. We're gonna add the donut in there, turn to the right, turn to the left. Drip off excess, and look how fantastic that is. And you're gonna put it right over here on your cookie sheet and let it drip dry. And if you don't wanna add the glaze, that's okay. But it's always lovely and delicious with this glaze. That looks like a perfect old-fashioned cake donut. Here we go, gotta give it a try. I'm gonna break into it and I'm gonna show you how nice and fluffy it is. Mm-hmm, yep just like an old-fashioned cake donut. As you can see, it's nice, moist. Gotta give it a try. Mm. Wow. Mm. A perfect old-fashioned. Mm. And I taste that sour cream coming through. Nice and fluffy on the outside. A little tiny crunch on the outside with that glaze. It's just win-win, y'all. Wow, and just imagine with a cup of coffee, tea, or milk for the kids. These cake donuts and holes never disappoint. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Hope you give these a try. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching, and I'll catch you lovely people later.